How are you feeling, ma? It's... Honestly. Honestly, it's really hard to find a place where I feel okay. Because everything just feels really bleak. I know that I've got to be positive and pull on my gig, big girl pants and you got this. But there is nowhere in my head that feels okay. And I know what it's doing to you. And I know what it's doing to your dad. And I know what it does. Even the dog has started to piss herself. She's peed twice on a ramp and peed her bed. We've had to get her fucking urine checked. She's Comes fine. In, there's nothing up there. It's me and my big dark gloom. But don't tell a joke. Okay. I'm not don't, telling don't a joke. Don't tell a joke. Because see, not... see the minute before I picked up this camera, you were sitting greeting. Yeah. So it's just hard because I don't know where I'm supposed to put my head. I don't know where I have to find my peace. I know people keep saying that you should go to one of the organisations where you can sit and talk, but you don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't want you to You don't sit. do well with a group. I don't do well with groups. I mean, I know that there is great groups out there and there's great support out there for women uh, and for people with cancer who find that support. That isn't my thing. I tend to go inward. And, it and makes I'll, you uncomfortable. makes me really uncomfortable. I'm ha put me on stage in front of 500 people and I'll tell you. Sit me in a fucking room with complete strangers. I think it's because the audience don't answer back. I think that's maybe what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's really difficult. And I know it's affecting everybody else, but I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I mean, I know that I'm going to go through the chemotherapy. I know that there will be some side effects, or maybe none. Who gives a fuck about that? But then I can't see beyond that. What if beyond that they scan me and they find me? And I know that I'm not supposed to think like that, but who the fuck are you to tell me how I'm supposed to think? How can you tell me that I'm not to think that after all this they might find me and just keep snapping bits at me like I'm a fucking gingerbread man until finally there's one wee bit left of me that doesn't have cancer? Is that what I have to think? I don't know what to think, but I know that it's really tough. And I know that I have to try and find a space somewhere in my head that makes me feel okay. And I'm trying to find that. I know. I just think you need to find something, Ma, because just sitting, steeping, I know, and gloom, so... it can't be good for your soul. No, my soul's already fucking broke, I think. And people have been so supportive. And that's the thing as well. Is I feel as though I'm letting everybody do because I've got all this love and all this support. Other people don't have this love and support. I'm getting this love and support and I'm still not being lifted. So maybe I'm an ungrateful bastard. Maybe you're just heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try and do better the more. To feel better. Just, I don't need you to feel better. I just need you to feel something else. Other than gloom. Other than just this weighty, thick sadness. I don't know how people cope. I don't, I don't know, know either. People, I don't know how people cope. I don't know. I just think you need a hobby. I'm no fucking nip, Ashley. Don't whatever you do, give me needles. At what point did I suggest that? The one thing I said, have you ever seen that porn where the guys are in the gym <laughs> and one of them shy? I don't want porn to be my thing. You don't know it until you try it. Ashley, find my mum away. I don't even know what's up there beyond my, my nunky. Is there just like a gap? I don't know, but how fun would it be if it was a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a genie. Don't rub it. Can I rub your <laughs> scar and see if I get a wish? I'm getting there. Good.